Good morning everybody, how you doing? It's wee Paddy back again and uh, continuing on the improvement. Um, I'm feeling good today and I'm enjoying going to do the second part of the video, the, the one that I've done yesterday, which is top brands that I bought now for my collection this year. And uh, today we're going to concentrate on Jack Wolf and Case Knives. And then we have the bottom line here, which is just a mixture of really nice ones I had. But I didn't buy too many of these brands. And sort of one of the ones you'd probably be surprised is this GEC. This is a Tidiot. It's a beautiful big knife. And this is the number 43 pattern. And it came out in 2018. But I just got it this year. And it is a Beast of a big knife, really lovely, full grip, bulbous end, just love that, really just beautiful for gripping onto, because I grip onto with them back two fingers, so just a beautiful, and like any really good knife, this is a user, um, from stakes to anything, it just does a bit of everything, it's got a beautiful edge on it, um, and it can do any task that I want, and this is a big knife, let me just check the... Uh, Let's just check. It's about three, just over, well, three and three eighths, uh, and a cutting edge of about three and an eighth. So a real good cutting knife. I mean, this is just perfect, and it's a strong enough. It's not that strong. It's only about a, maybe about a between a five and a six, about a five, I would think. But it's a lovely big knife and when you get right up there in the Ricasso it ain't gonna close on you you know if it just accidentally slips it ain't gonna close on you you can pop her back up again stunning knife really love it and I was never really a big knife uh, you know as far as slip joints go but this year again I've had a lot of changes this year in my life and I'm enjoying big knives multi-bladed knives that I didn't the year before but listen to the sound of that it is just beautiful the next one, I've just done a video recently on this one. This is the Boker, and this is the uh, four-bladed Congress. Beautiful knife. There's a video not long up about this one I received it. It's a beautiful knife, beautifully put together. Uh, Boker at its best. This is Boker Solagen. There you go. It has the, the Boker Solagen on there. Lovely shield. Uh, it's just, it's it's mint. It's like new inbox, and it's a fair age of one. Well, I say a fair age, it's a few years old. But it's just in perfect nick. The stag on it is gorgeous. And again, what I like about stag is it can be so different from knife to knife. I really enjoy that about stag. Again, something I wasn't over keen on when I first started. But this is a gem. I got this this year. The Boker Tree brand. Look at that. Lovely saw cut Delrin. But it has been used and loved, to be honest with you. There's not a damn thing wrong with it. It's been used and loved. But there's still plenty of blade left there in it. And that typical boker. Little tiny swedge in the front. Nothing on the back. Um, 493 it is called. But just beautiful. And it now, when I say there's nothing wrong with it. Listen to that snap. It is beautiful. It's not particularly centered there. The small pen blade is. But when you look at this sideways on, it's skew with. I don't know whether that was... I don't think that would have come out of the factory. Like that. That's not boker. But you can see this spring for the main the pen blade is sunk in a bit. Doesn't affect it at all. I think it has been dropped or somebody's melted it with a hammer. It's just... But it works absolutely beautiful. I mean, you heard the spring on that first one. This one isn't so great. But I believe, see that? There's no, not there. But it's just lovely to have that. I love these Boker Barlow shields. I just love anything, anything Barlow with uh, something on the shield. I've got 16 of them. That's my sort of sub collection. But I really, really am pleased to get this one. And then another, Russell. I showed one yesterday. Yeah, I waited years to get one. And then two come along, just like a bus. Two come along at once and I managed to snag both of them. This one is in mint condition. The first one was made by Shred. This one, I believe, was made by Boker. Um, just with the, the telltale signs. This is Russell. Green River Works. And uh, you can see it on a beautiful blade. 
and it's made in solid in Germany. And I think only Boker could have come up with this. Is a class knife. Look at the centering on them two blades. They're both absolutely beautiful. And a little pen blade on there. Mirror polished. Just a stunning knife. And again, a slimmer version of the Russell, Russell Shield. It's only on the front, but a beautiful knife. The red bone on this is it's like a cranberry bone. It is just beautiful and smooth. Stunning. That really was pleased to get both of them this year. No idea I was going to get them. This is another one I've got. This is a little Whittler. This is from Shatton Morgan. This was a one of 100 when that meant something. Um, it's just a typical Whittler. Lovely. It's nearly a convex edge on this. Uh, I haven't done anything with it yet, but I intend to whittle with it. And This was made in the year 2000. And the reason that I got this was that was the year I got married. To my wife 23 years ago 20, nearly 20 yeah 23 years ago um and a beautiful little coping blade isn't that stunning so but this is going to be used i'm going to keep this anyway because i don't want to get rid of it because it's got that year on it and uh i'm going to use this for whittling as it should be keep saying I'm doing all this with and i haven't done any yet like but there we go that's potty <laughs> Next one, I'm going to go up to the case now, and again, the case, and I, you've noticed in the main brands, I've picked at least five, well, it's minimum of five that I've picked for each of them. Some of them have got more than fives, like the Jack Wolf, the case, I've got a couple more than five, I really went hard at case this year, um, and look at this, I got this one for next to nothing at the uh, show this year, this is the case mini copper lock, which is, uh, they call it a mini, but... Look at that beautiful blade. Is that not a lovely clip? Uh, beautiful. This is just in the yellow Delrin. Uh, I can get three fingers on there, but you can sneak up on this and get the full four fingers. And it's just a beautiful everyday working knife. Um, just love this knife. I have to say, I really love it. I've wanted one for ages and I kept putting it off. But uh, really nice. Centering isn't the best, but this is a little work knife. It's not rubbing or anything. You know, there's no marks there. Um but a lovely little knife, great little work knife to have. And this gorgeous knife was a gift. Look at this. Really, really unusual shaped. Um, the bone on this is what killed me. Look at that bone. Come on now. Does it get any nicer than that? The, the, the way that the, the dye is taken on this bone it's just beautiful. And this rust lock, it's an odd being, but, you know, it is a tiniest little piece of wobble. And it does not enough to annoy me to hit it a thump yet. It'll do absolutely fine. I can get all four fingers. It's really comfortable. Isn't that surprising? If you go back here, yes, you know, you're moving off the handle. But sitting on top here, there's like a dip. And it's just lovely to set your thumb on. And I said, it's not a hard use blade. It's got a lock on it absolutely beautiful love this knife uh, and not something i never sort of thought of. i thought of getting one just because it looked odd but i carried it and used it when i got it and it was lovely really nice to use for light duty work like most slip joints are and then this one again was the bone that got me the saw cut aquamarine bone it's just beautiful this is a copper head and this has the very long and beautiful Warncliffe on it. Yeah, it's as good as a Warncliffe. It really is. It's coming down all the way from here. But a beautiful knife. I've got a nice wicked edge on it now. It didn't come particularly sharp. Listen to that. And then look at that pen blade. I mean, that pen blade is just a super pen blade. That would do most of my, my day's work. Still razor sharp. Gorgeous knife. The colour just got me again. I love colour in my knives. And speaking of colour, they don't come much better than this boy. Look at that beautiful purple dyed bone. Just stunning. And that lovely script case there. Um, I started collecting these. I've got three now with this on it. And it's something I'm always going to keep my eye out for. Because I just think it's class. It's a nickel silver. It is just class. And that bone, again, 
when kids do it right, they do it right. This is an older one. This is brand new and st old stock. No, what is the words? <laughs> new old stock. Uh, absolutely mint condition. Uh, lovely clip point. You all know what a stock one's like. Sheep's foot, really nice sheep's foot. And my favourite of all, the spray blade. Just a stunner. Love it. Really beautiful knife. Glad to have that in the collection. And it started me off on a sub collection of the case grip shields. But here's the one I really wanted. I had bought the, the last one they had of Barlow's a case. I had bought a couple. And then for some stupid reason, I decided to use them. I needed to use something for trades. And I used them. And uh, and then all of a sudden they disappeared again. And I couldn't get them for love nor money. Couldn't get them for love nor money. Uh, over here in the UK, that is. But uh, nobody wanted to sell them. So I got this one with a case script on it. And you know, my Barlow's and case script. This is one of the, the set that I have. I love it. It's a two-bladed Barlow, which is not something I've had that many of. But I love that clip point. It's a good, solid, deep clip point in the case Barlow. Really like it. And again, this is in mint condition. Mint condition. Nice size of a pen blade. Not too small, not too thin. It can still get plenty of work. The only sort of downside, and if you could call it a downside, beautiful stag on this side, not so great there. It's lovely figured, but I don't know whether I could actually use a torch and burn that. Would it make any difference? If anybody knows, please let me know, because other than that, the fit and finish and everything, and all these case knives, was immaculate. Really was immaculate. Love them all. And then we get to the ones that uh, love them or hate them. It's the Jack Wolf knives. I love them. Um... Again, I get these for free, so whatever I say, you take with a pinch of salt, but don't, because they're just flipping good. And this is my, I've got more than five of these, so this is my top five. That's in my, these are the top five that I like and use at the moment. Uh, and that changes on a regular basis. Changed this month, because this one got into the, the fire. This one here is nearly nostalgic already. Um, this is the one that Ben designed completely on his own, completely out of his head. I just, when I say out of his head, I don't mean he was out of his head on a substance. I just mean he made it out of his head, like most designers do. <laughs> I just, that, that nearly sank me in it, didn't it? Um, but this is just beautiful. I love the lines on it. There's not, you know, there's no straight lines as such. They're either curved or you have this beautiful pattern, but it's following the line. This one follows the lines of this uh, in a strange kind of way. So I, I just love it. I just love it. I love that green and yellow carbon fiber. Um, just a stunning knife. Upswept blade. It is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. In hand, incredibly comfortable. Incredibly comfortable. Like all of them. Like all Oh, that just sends me into kinks. This next one has been a favourite since it came out. It has never been out of the top five. This is just a stunner. This is the canine jack, the dog leg, with a big fat spear, which, as you know, I love. This one is just melts in my hand. It literally melts in my hand. Uh, beautiful knife. Beautiful to use. Really nice butter spreader. Beautiful. Lovely knife. And then this is probably the one that's going to get the most use of them all. This is the Jack Wolf equivalent of a sod buster. But this was called the... Uh, damn, what was this called? I've forgotten the name of it. Oh, Let me just check. Oh, sorry. Excuse me for a minute. Forgotten the name of it. It was the Pioneer Jack. The Pioneer Jack. But it's basically a sodbuster pattern. Beautiful big long bolster on it. It's nearly a barlow. Uh, beautiful triple ringed. Just a gorgeous handle. Love this beautiful blue encrusted uh, carbon fibre. Just look at that in hand. It is such a lovely work knife. Adore it. And uh, I got. A beautiful slip made for it by uh, Richter Knives. 
try to visit over the pond to get a, a slip this time for that and i love the slip and it just goes beautifully that's a main carry all day long as is this this is the vampire jack i just love this it's just bright cheerful makes me smile the lovely spear point on this look at that isn't that i keep doing that because it's like a missile I'll say that every time because it gets me and that's exactly what it reminds me of. Just beautiful. But a most utilitarian blade. The, the drop point, the spear, I just find are just fantastic. Um, as an everyday use because you get that big bit of belly and then you get a bit of straight here if you want to do it. It's super thin behind the edge as are all of them. Um, just a now with M3... Uh, S90V is just an amazing steel to get on a pocket knife. Do you know what I mean? Little pen knife with S90V, brilliant. You're never going to get stuck. And then this is the latest version. This is the Baby Bro. Just stunning. Little jackknife. That's all it is. And look at this. Look at that beautiful little clip point. And that Kieranite scales on that is stunning. The depth you will never know until you get here and see it. There's so much depth in it. It's beautiful. And that is my top five Jack Wolf knives at the minute. Who knows what's coming next month to take one of them out of the... But it's not only just the newest one takes them out. Sometimes I change my mind completely in mid-month. But if you ask me today, that's the top five today going into Christmas. Um, if you can get any of them, please do. And if you can't get any of them and you're struggling, get over to the Jack Wolf um, Facebook page. Just pop over there and join. It's a lovely place to be. And if you want to get Jack Wolf knives, you'll get them there at very reasonable prices. Um, and they're just a really nice crowd of people over there. They really are a nice crowd. And uh, get over, join in and... Uh, you might be able to pick it up a Jack Wolf knife at a really reasonable price. So there you go, folks. And another place, Frame More Knives. Check what they've got. Always give Frame More Knives a ring and see what they've got in and see if it suits you. Uh, I think there's a couple of these left, but just get over there and check. These little bros are just a little bit bigger than a boy's knife. And they're just beautiful. I'll put them against this barlow here. There's a Barlow. It's just a little bit bigger than a, an average Barlow. There's the Boker Barlow there again. They're not particularly big Barlows, but it's just a stunning little knife and so useful, so beautifully made. There you go. Right, stop, Stephen. You're starting to swoon. And isn't that strange? After over a year of these, I still swoon. But the case, I was really pleased with the cases I got this year. Really enjoying them. Got a good collection of them now. Happy with that. Next year, I'm probably... I think I might need to be between Boker and more older knives. Is going to be next year's collection. Um, and I think that's all now for these. I'm going to actually do... The next time I'm going to do the locking knives I have. The modern locking knives that I've got this year that have really pleased me. And along with them, I'll maybe throw in... A few of the older model knives that I got. Not that I've all, the, these ones I've already showed you. But I've got some other ones there. Old timers and things like that that I've got this year. And that's another part of the collection. Them older knives. I really like the USA made ones. But I'm also getting a lot of the UK made. Sheffield made knives. That are of a fair age now. So I'll show you them. Whether it's I'm not sure how many locking knives I've got. But... I'll either do the locking knives and then I'll do them or I'll do a, a mixture of both. But I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed showing off this collection. I had no idea this was such a good year. I really didn't until you start picking through it and you realise. Because you never think you bought as many as you have, do you? Well, I think I've got twice as many as I thought I had. I thought one video would have covered everything. Two videos. And I'm still not done. So that's scary. And 15 in each video, so there's 30 of each. Oh my God, I need help. Right, I'm away for a wee cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, probably, I might just do another one tomorrow. I'll see how I'm feeling. It'll be in the next couple of days. But this is part two. Look forward to part three. I don't want to 
really do your heads in with it. So I'll do them either towards the end of the week or maybe the beginning of the next week. Take care, everybody. It's really nice to be back and feeling a bit more aware. <laughs> Take care now. Bye-bye.